Hi, Ebo Alexis is the name I respond to, a freshman at Ashesi University and a business administration major. Today, I'm going to talk about prototyping. I'm going to use three main phrases, that is, create it, act it out, and portray it. What is a prototype? A prototype is a scaled-down version of the final product you want to produce. Let's take the making of the leather bag. In the creation of a leather bag, leather in itself is expensive, first of all. Secondly, it's time involving. Why would you spend your, all your time and your money trying to make a perfect leather bag when you can actually use a paper or you can use an expensive material to make that bag complete? That's why prototyping comes about. So you are making a scaled-down version. This scaled-down version is something that is a part of the whole that is to be made. Now, what's the methods of prototyping? And the one of them include product. What is a product? A product simply refers to you bringing tangibility into existence. So you are giving the customer a feel of how the final version is gonna be like. Take the making of a flask. A flask which is made up of aluminum can first of all be made with plastic products. That is the prototype. So you are using the plastic products in a sense that you'll be able to make iterations, that is, either change certain features or add certain features to make it suit the customer need which you are trying to satisfy. Imagine going to a counselor's office where you are broken hearted or perhaps you going through something that you need her help. Definitely you expect a positive feedback from her. Imagine her giving you something negative. It's going to tarnish her image first of all. Secondly, it's going to cause her it's going to cause you not to go back to them even spread bad news about the company. By so doing, it's very essential that every company, being it an individual or any institution, take into consideration what they are going to tell or interact with their customers. That's why role playing comes in. For every typical building, there is a pictorial presentation of that building before the actual building is made. The reason being that they don't want to avoid, want to avoid every sort of mistake, such as building an incomplete house or building it in a haphazard manner. So due to a laid out structure, there is a need to come up with a pictorial presentation of what you want to bring. And that's how come we have the wireframe. Now we are going to types of prototype. Consider the making of a movie. First of all, we have a teaser and we have a trailer as well. For the teaser, it is short and less detailed because it has not captured the whole idea or scene of the movie as compared to the trailer which gives you the setting, the plot, and what have you. And so doing, we have these two types of prototype, namely high fidelity prototype and then low fidelity prototype. So with the high fidelity prototype, it's more detailed. It is so close to the actual product that you want to produce. And for the low fidelity prototype, it is not as you want the actual product to be, but then it looks like it. So for the making of a gun, as you can see here, gun is normally made out of aluminum or copper. Since you are making a prototype, since you are coming up with a scaled down version, using of plastic, as you can see here, would enable you to imagine or see how the product is going to be when it's made. Now, the paper here also can be crumpled. The paper can suffer harsh weather conditions and it will tarnish or to spoil the image that you wanted to put across, that is, come up with the very best of product. Why do you need a prototype? Now, you need a prototype because it gives customer power. What does it mean to give customer power? Giving customer power simply means you're involving the customers. It is the customer's needs they are trying to satisfy. Imagine identifying your customer need and imagine knowing what your customer wants and giving it to them. It will be a plus for you as the company. That's what you mean by giving customer power. Secondly, it allows you to sell your business. In this global world that we exist in, competition is so inevitable, so much so that companies trying to get there must take note of it or be mindful of that. By so doing, your prototype enables you to have a competitive advantage in that since you know what your, comp uh, your customer actually wants, you provide what is best for him. The next thing that you get from prototyping is customer feedback. So for customer feedback, you are able to iterate, that is, make changes to the initial product you made or maintain it or you subtract certain features from it. Thank you for watching.